Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tam Tonight and today we are here to discuss one of my favorite rappers. He might be like the favorite right now, Don Tolliver. Okay, he came out during the pandemic, you know, and rescued us all with Heaven or Hell and that was my favorite project to listen to. I loved After Party. Every time I hear After Party, even right now, it's like, okay, I'll pull up. How about? I loved it. I was so mad I could not be in the club, at the festival, like wherever. But you know, I got it out as good as I could in my apartment, in my car. No idea. Feeling like I did too much. Cardigan. Okay. Company. Just so candy. Too many. Just Hits on hits on hits, Don Tolliver. And he came back now with his second album, Life of a Don. This album is so, so, so bomb. And we learn a lot about Don Tolliver. First thing I want to say is I feel like his relationship with Caliucci's has impacted him and affected him dramatically during the quarantine and the pandemic. Because Caliucci's is like, I've liked her for a long time, you know? Caliucci's is like... I don't, to me, she's kind of like Girl Don Tolliver. She's very, very weird and unique in that, like, Tyler the Creator type of way. And that's why their projects together always go. And her voice is very unique, too. And then she has that look about herself, like, in her Colombian heritage. You know, she really plays it up. And it, like, I don't know, it just makes her stand out. Kind of how everybody was, like, fangirling over Alexa Dime when Euphoria came out. That's how Kali Uchis is. Like, she is that girl. Like, poster girl, sexy Latina, all of that. She has it on lock. Mean Pin, so I really feel like they were in the quarantine together and they were cuddling, they were chilling at the house and they were doing different things and it brought out a singing side of the great Don Tolliver. Now, I want to call singing Don Tolliver, who we got way more of on this album than, you know, Heaven or Hell, singing Don Tolliver is Don Sinatra. Let that sit with you. It's Don Sinatra when he is singing. Okay, got it. So, we're going to introduce you to... Don Sinatra on the first track of the project, which is Escape. No, you just want to escape. Bomb song. Still get sexy. And he's like, always ask you what you're doing. Tell him, take you shopping. Duh, he don't do it for you. Get another option. Just. And I had to wait to do this review because I really wanted to get the lyrics correct. I did not want to soil, you know, none of the genius that is on Tolliver. Escape is my song. As soon as it comes on, it has those horns. And that's why I'm saying to Kalushi, you can see like the Colombian influence. Maybe they were over there during the pandemic too because some of the music videos are filmed there and just the vibe of some of the songs with the horns and all that. Even though he had them on the other project, but something about these is uniquely Spanish. Escape. Escape is that song. I really want a music video for this, but I don't know if we'll get one. This is that song. Still get sexy. Bomb. Five times. Now, initially, you know, because I'm a heaven and hell baby, when I'm listening to this project, I'm like, mm, I don't like this. Like, it's not, it's no party. Where's the party at? Like, where is the after party at? No. Five times in a row, I seen you flip. Five times in a five times in a row, I seen you flip. This song is crazy, and it goes so crazy in the car. This is really a no-skip project. There is like one song towards the bottom that I'm iffy on, but it's only because of the other person. But this is no skips. Like I've driven around to this since it came out every single day. Like I know my husband is tired of me, but just five times in a row I've seen it flip. It's then, like I said, I was disappointed about the party or the lack of party that I felt was missing when I heard Escape. You know, after like second, third listen, then Escape, Escape is my jam now. But at first I was like, dang, what is this? And Way Bigger is the hit of this project. Way Bigger is the after party of this project. It is the lemonade of this project. And you know, when I really, really, really like a song, I have to read the lyrics because it is important to me. Okay? I got bass, but it hit way bigger. Jet ski slide, but the waves way bigger. Go yard back, but it hit way bigger. Pour that deuce in my lemonade, nigga. Can't get off if it ain't six figures. Shorty ran off with a rich ass nigga. <laughs> Pay my dues in the streets, I'm Liddy. What about bitch through the whole pandemic? And that's worth the Cali Uchis. I'm telling you, way bigger is the song. Just that chorus. Go y'all back with a head way bigger. Pour that deuce in my lemonade, nigga. It rides so smooth. I cannot see people in the club, like, not dancing, getting a little bop to this song way bigger okay 
just beautiful. I cannot say enough. And the music video for this, I don't really get the message. It started off with him like in a bubble coat over the city and like that was cool. And then there was some old man dancing with a young girl at a theater. And then Don Toller was on top of the theater. And it's, I don't know, there was a lot of things going on, but I'm gonna let that slide on the fact that I love the song. So music video aside, Way Bigger is the hit of this project. Mark my words. Then, I'm telling you, Way Bigger is the hit because I feel like it's like the commercial hit and it's the song they're going to be able to play on the radio a whole, whole bunch like they eliminate. Flocky Flocky featuring Travis Scott is that song. Now, the video, I assume, was directed by Travis Scott because at the end it had like the little Cactus Jack logo and like the whole thing was very like, like video camera recorded like old school style and cuts of just Don Tolliver living a Don life like you know strip clubs driving fast cars doing random things you know just being rich riding around with Travis Scott so I don't know but yeah I think it is directed by Travis Scott or if not it's directed by them as a group bomb I'm not mad at it at all love the song she flocky flocky on whatever you call it yeah yeah I think, and then Travis, I think he makes a reference to EDD. He's like, she brought a pint with the EDD doing way too much, something like that. Funny. Who is you hanging out with, Travis? What you need? What you need is already like a TikTok hit. Music video filmed to Columbia, and that's how I knew for a fact that, you know, there was, Cali Cheese was present in this creative process because Don Tolliver, you from Texas. How did you even figure out that you want to go over there and do, you know? And then I watched the Ebro interview, and he said it was his first time being out the country. So that totally made sense. And it just, I think it added a lot of cinematic quality to the music videos. So what you need is definitely that one when it comes to that. Tell me what you need, little baby. Take you out and put you in double C's, little baby. Like, just bomb. That's what girls want to hear. None of this shooting, killing, robbing. We don't care. Okay? This, what you need, is what we need. Thank you. Double Standards. Double Standards is also Don Sinatra singing Don. And the lyrics are very important because at least Don Tolliver is acknowledging the fact that there are double standards out there and how they work. It starts off, he's like, that's that's what had you. They started talking, saying, you be out way too often with some friends that got history of only baller hopping. Look at me, I ain't so flawless. Got like 20 girls at Austin. It's like three or four a week. Okay, sliding through, at least I'm honest. Bars. Thank you so much, Don Tolliver, okay? Because we just got off of, you know, the travesty that was uh, this Drake project that we're not going to mention, you know, here when we're speaking about greatness. And it was just a lot of hypocritical bars, hypocritical songs from Drake. At least you're coming here like, look, you be hanging out with hoes. I, look, I got hoes too. I understand what's going on. I like you, though. We can't be moving certain ways. I want you to trust me. I want to trust you. But look, this is going on. I appreciate it, Don Tolliver. Bring it down to here. Reciprocity, you know? This is what Lauren Hill was talking about. Just, let's give what we get. Honest, let's start with honesty. Bam. And that's why Don Tolliver was a bad bitch the whole pandemic. And some of y'all can't even hold on to one. Double Standards is that song. Singing Don Tolliver, very, very smooth. This would have been a cute music video as well. Fingers crossed on it. The next song is Swangin' on Westheimer. I believe that's how you say it. It's gotta be a street in Texas. Anyways, this is more Don Sinatra. He's singing and he's laying the bars down. I assume he's speaking to Cali. And he's like, just don't believe the hype, okay? It should be going on out here. Sometimes I might lie to you, but look, I like you, okay? I'm pressed about you. I'm here. All right, I don't want you to leave the house. You gotta swing my way. I'm throwing through this money. I'm about to spend it all with my woman. He's not saying my bitch. My woman. Take notes. Again, this is just a great song. The way she moved her body, I swear I'm attached to her. When she off the Henny and Tequila, no catching her. It's just, I don't know. This again, this is what girls, this is what we want to listen to. So Don Tolliver, I am just. I'm so impressed by you. I cannot say enough. The singing song, and then a lot of rappers try to do singing songs, but then they be in there, like I said, like saying bitch and hoe and like stupid guy shit. So it just doesn't hit the same. And this song hits really good. Like, I believe you. I like this. Swinging on Westheimer. Listen to that song right now. Next song, and I've been like holding my tongue this whole time, trying not to say anything about it. Drugs and Hella Melodies featuring Cali Uchi's 
bomb, 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 bomb. Now it's been out for months. I refuse to review it on Tam tonight because I wanted to review the whole project in its entirety because I am a fan. I am a Don Toliver stan. I'm a Tolivite. I don't know what he's calling his fans. Here I am. Okay. And the music video was so bomb and so sexy, but I expect nothing less from Kali Uchi because she always delivered all the visuals. And it was directed by Nabil. And Nabil also directed Nova Kane by the great Frank Ocean and Love Galore with SZA, the beautiful and talented, featuring Travis Scott with the butterflies and all that. And she killed him. So it was not lacking on the romance, you know, the futurism, the edits. Kali Uchi was like a fairy at one point. They were in a waterfall. Just beautiful, very romantic. Again, shot in Colombia. And I could kind of tell because of the house. You know, the house gave it away a little bit, but it was bomb and it fit the aesthetic so well, especially the life of a dawn aesthetic because that's where you would be living in a castle type house, not like one of these brand new spaceship mansions. This was given old money. You know, I really like this a lot. And Kelly Uchis has never ever been a slouch, has never had like a slack bar one day in her life and came so hard on this song and she opens it. Sex full of adrenaline, this pussy put you right to sleep just like a sedative. Not to sound conceited, I'm not one to brag, but I'm the girl you needed that you never had. Some people only see the negative. Some people find a way to see the good in everything. I just want to see you through the good and bad. Take you how you are and never give you back. Kali Uchis is so good. And I watched that interview with him and Ebro and he's saying that Kaliuchi's next project is going to be fire. It always is. But if Donna Tolliver is on it, it's going to take it up to that next level because this song was so good. And their voices together, drugs and hella melodies. I hope that y'all are only doing like the good drugs. You know, like it's the spectrum of drugs. It's the green side. Like you're going to be fine. You're going to live a long, healthy life. And then it's the yellow area. Like mm, 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 this gets slippery. And it's the red. Because you guys are on that trajectory to ultra super fame as a couple and individuals because... Don Tolliver doesn't really seem like he wants to have a public-public relationship. And I don't think Kali Uchi does either, for that matter. But I don't want you guys to slip off into, you know, are you so, so famous and you can't go nowhere and you can't do shit and all you want to do is stay in the house and hide and do drugs, the red-level drugs. Don't do that, okay? My sake, all the fans' sake, do the green-level drugs, okay? Weed, mushrooms, you know, the fun stuff. Explore your mind. Leave it there. Dress and Hella Melodies is that song though. Kali Uchis looked fine the whole entire video from the bathtub to the little horseback thing she was doing. It was just bomb and it was very Columbia. So I like that. The guy videos get very, very boring very quickly. So this was extremely refreshing. The song is bomb. Just perfection. Thank you to the group. Oh, also, don't want you guys to feel pressured like you have to be doing duets all the time. Even though Kali Uchi doesn't mean duet, okay? Um, you guys can have songs that, you know, like maybe Don Toliver wrote on Kali's songs and vice versa. Don't feel pressured to put your relationship on blast to us because we'll be thirsty and we'll like it. But, you know, some people will rip it apart just as quickly. So, love the love that you got, but, you know, protect it. 2 a.m., this is such a bomb song to go after drugs and hella melodies because it's so smooth again. It's Don Sinatra, two in the morning, okay, hard to relax at the crib, little baby. Two in the morning, oh yeah, like, and sometimes it'd be like that. And then he's going into the bars, and maybe this is the hook, but I just enjoy this part a lot. He's like, uh, drive me under, yeah, make me wonder, yeah, flight to London, oh yeah, drive me, and he just says it over and over. Drive me under, make me wonder, flight to London, it's just a Bomb. Like Don Tolliver has been in the house just racking his brain and coming up with these flows that fit his voice so well. I also watched the behind the scenes of Life of the Don and what Pharrell told him was so real. The way he writes for his tone is just like maybe other rappers don't know themselves and know them, their voice like that to really just make the most of it. But Don Tolliver is like in the pocket so good with himself. It's just so seamless. And maybe it comes from, he gave a little tidbit out that his dad was a Swisher House artist and he wasn't a rapper, he was a singer. And his dad also has a very unique tone. And he also said they have songs together. So I don't know who's going to break into that studio and, you know, steal those songs. Don't steal everything. But if it says like me and Pops, me ex Pops, uh, what's the daddy's name? Mangu or something like that. Don ex Mangu, like take that song, put it out so we can hear it. But... 
maybe that is how he's had a lot of time to like really, really hone his voice, his skill, and the lyrics that go along with it that'll showcase that the best. Because usually that's something we see way more in singers instead of rappers. So yeah, Don Tolliver might be a real, real singer out here. Like, you know, my nigga might be able to pull up on a church, sing a bar or something, you know? He has the skill. Then we go on to what might be my favorite, 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 favorite song on this whole project. And I have said that a lot during this episode. So I know probably right now you think that I'm lying. But Get Throwed, and this is how you know those Apple Music stars don't be real either. Get Throwed is that song. Shorty get throwed off in my bed. Shorty get throwed off of that. Shorty get throwed off in my bed. It's crazy. I cannot imagine hearing this at a party. Woo. My Lord. This song is bomb. It does have no Apple Music star. So I know you people don't have good taste at all. Or maybe it's just too low on the project. You're not listening to everything. But Get Throwed is that girl. Let me tell you. Company Bar 2. Now, I love the first company so much that, like I said, it took me like two, three listens to really like this company. But once I heard it and gave it a full chance, I really, really enjoyed it. It's good. It like picks up where the last song left off and it's talking about what he's going through currently, I guess, or, you know, more irrelevant situation. So I'm not mad at it. Company part two. Now, Outer Space. Outer Space is a good song. I love Don Tolliver. However, Baby Keem, even though I like some Baby Keem songs, like four or five Baby Keem songs, his voice is like too much for me and it's not very listenable and Don Tolliver is so smooth so when I was driving and I was riding to this when he came to the Baby King part I was like oh what like, uh -uh, I don't hear that but like I'm saying independently or maybe if this was on a Baby King project I would have let it ride you know but just because Don Tolliver is so smooth and so player if you will that Baby King voice eh, 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 it just did not work for me outside of that this is a good song I'm not mad at it like I said if this was on a Baby King project it would be the hit of the project Smoke is a cool song. It's featuring HVN and Sofago. I don't know who HVN is, but I guess he's on here somewhere. It sounds good. It's a cool song. They say smoke a lot. So if you don't like like repetitive songs and they annoy you, don't listen to smoke because it's going to give you a bad idea like Don Toliver's music because it's not like that at all. But the smoke is a cool song. And as a smoker, like I'm never mad at a smoking song. This next song, You featuring Travis Scott, is also Don Sinatra He's singing You Couldn't Get Any Better, Baby. It's a very sexy song. Um, I feel like Travis might be dedicating this to Kylie Jenner, you know, in her current state. Uh, just to keep her mind at ease and reassure her that she's that bitch and that she's still bomb. He still loves her. She's still desirable. Um, Don Tolliver is like, you talking dirty to me. I'm talking back like a reflex. This is a bomb, sexy song, You. Crossfaded is a fun, more upbeat love song. Again, this is still Don Sinatra, but it's more from, it's closer to what we're used to on Heaven and Hell, that up tempo cadence. And he's like, Don Holliver is very happy to be dating a girl that's got her own money. All right. He's like, You got your own bag and you're so happy. Uh, me and Shorty started Enterprise. So, you know, just bomb music again a girl would never be mad at hearing this this is what the ladies want to hear uh as a person that's been crossfaded you know i might want to hear this song when i am it's just you know will pep you right up this is a very cute song bogus he closes the album out with bogus and it is so bomb again this is after party level turned up and i love don Tolliver's voice and the way he can like deliver these little hooks and just I don't know how to really explain it, but I don't go for no type of bogus. She, she want to take a picture. She want to strike a pose with it. It's just bomb. And like, you can actually understand what he's saying, unlike a lot of the rap that's out there. So maybe that makes it more like, oh yeah, I want to say that. Oh yeah, I can't wait to get in the car and rap that Don Tolliver. Like, what? And uh, bogus is just going to get you hyped. You know, I really hope that Don Tolliver is not just doing festivals. I hope that he will do his own sort of tour or at least um, piggyback onto whatever tour Travis is going to do when he drops music because this deserves its own environment. Like Astroworld was his own environment. I want Life of Don to be his own environment. And I know he's going to do Day in Vegas. Um, I sold my ticket because the people that I know didn't have vaccines and whatnot. So whatever. And then they changed the rules. Ah. 
so I'm missing Don Tolliver for no reason. But anyways, I'm not going to cry about it. Um, yeah, I hope it's not just festivals because I feel like a festival has a certain energy and like the people didn't come there for that person. They came for everybody. So it's just different. I want to go into a Don Tolliver only environment. You feel me? So let's keep our fingers toes. We've crossed for that. I want Don Tolliver to have all of his things. As I said, we watched the, you know, behind the scenes of Life of Don. We got to see Mama Don Tolliver. She's very supportive, loves the music. I already told you about dad. So, you know, get these parents in a mansion, you know, on the same street, maybe, or, you know, in the same gated community. So when Don Tolliver has, you know, small Tollivers, they can go and they can ride a bike back and forth to grandma's house. Like, give us something good. Don Tolliver's music is great enough that this family should be living nice, you know, and it's coming. So artists get their money from tours. Don Tolliver is making a killing, though with his pen on the writing and publishing side. So I'm sure like those coins are trickling in. But just that tour money, it seems to take things off in a different way. Like Travis Scott got a whole new mansion after the Astro World Tour. And we need two, really we need three. Don Tolliver need one, Mama Tolliver and Daddy Tolliver. So what are we gonna do? Like, is there more Don Tolliver merch that we can be buying? Um, you know, Travis got the cacti. I, and then people, the way people talk about it, I'm not sure it, whose cactus Jack. Is it both of y'all? Is it, what's going on? We need some Tolliver, you know, products out that we can buy to help bolster you on your way. Because the music is incredible. And I feel like just with the more money that you have and the more exposure, like even your friend was saying on behind the scenes, like this time you got to work with better producers. So the sound and everything was more seamless. And it was more high quality. I want to see what happens when you get that tour money and you know your life changes a little bit and what you are able to do with that you know, platform. Also, you mentioned that you haven't been out of the country besides the Columbia, which is a big deal. I want to see what would happen if Don Tolliver went to Africa and that Afro beat sound because you could be sweeping up the checks from C to sign and C, Don Tolliver. You have got that skill. You got that voice. I just saw Burner Boy. I would love to hear Don Tolliver and Burner Boy song. Don Tolliver and Wiz Kid. Like, that is world music as they call it. And then you're from Texas. You got Cali Uchis over there with the Spanish. Get her to give you like some ESL type lessons. Maybe you can hop on a song with Bad Bunny or Jay Balvin or something and get that money too. Because you deserve it, Don Tolliver. I am so happy to live in this time. This music is so good. It makes me so happy. <sighs> Just try to get thrown off in my bed. Try to get thrown off of that red. I'm with a rich hoe. In a sick boat, like Don Tolliver, you, you deserve it. So, love Life of a Don. Go stream it, download it, buy it. Watch all the videos, thumbs up them, subscribe, follow Don Tolliver on social media. Okay, and support because the music is there. The music is top tier, and it's so unique. Like, ain't nobody doing it on Don Tolliver's level. So, I want you to have all of your things. I'll be here waiting for the tour because I'm coming. I'm buying multiple tickets. I'll be here waiting for the merch. I'm buying the merch. You're going to come out with a drink. Um, you know, Tolliver Twist. I've got it. Just let me know. I'm here. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell so you know when I'm here because I'm here randomly. Uh, thumbs up this video. Comment your favorite song down below. And let's figure out some way, you know, that we can stop Don Tolliver as a group. You know? He seems nice. He seems chill. Let's pull up on him. Bye.